So guys, we're gonna show you grinding the rim without the tire, just how easy it is, um, a, like good technique for it. And then we're gonna show you how we grind a rim with a tire on. This is the way we do it. I was, there's loads of ways of grinding a rim. This is the one that I find is kind of the, the easiest sort of physically and sort of the safest. So all the grinding shards are going away from there. You've got your foot on the wheel, so it's nice and stable. Um, and we'll go from there. I used to get a few questions about which grinding disc to use. Um, generally, it doesn't matter too much. Um, a grinding disc or at least a three mil thick cutting disc is fine. Stone grinding, stone cutting, metal cutting, metal grinding, they're all fine. As long as you don't use the really wafer thin ones because you're going to be pressing it at a bit of an angle. The wafer thin ones can shatter and that obviously makes a bit of a mess. So. Um, goggles on and the ear defenders if you want them as well. And away we go. So we're going to start basically an angle with the, with the grinder and try and kind of sort of tickle the rim you're not trying to cut into it just tickling the rim to make the surface rough I'm going to move a bit closer it's uh, wrapped around my foot so it's out of the way you can keep the, keep the wheel down nice and steady with your, with your foot then you've got the room to move there So you'll see just then I was kind of only really grinding in one direction. If you kind of go backwards and forwards with a disc, it just it just um, smooths back off what you've just done. So if you just drag one way, the grind will run one way on one side of the rim. And then when you flip it over, it'll run the other way effectively. So you've got your grind kind of at this angle this way and that angle that way. Yeah. And hopefully you get the brake working in both directions. Cool. Cool, right, we'll carry on, finish this off, and then we'll go and bob the tire on and then try the... Uh, Try the Popeye method of holding the tire out of the way. This is the old, the old surface. Hopefully, you can see it glinting in the light. And you'll, if you get your finger there and just run it along it, it's basically just smooth. Um, so with a grind, you can see it's kind of like lots of little micro sort of troughs and peaks. There's a lot more friction going on there. Yeah. How many grinds can a rim take? Uh, it varies a bit depending on the rim. Some of them. Like the really modern trial, trial, trial specific rims have got thicker sidewalls so it resists dents and you can get more grinds out of them um, it also depends a bit on how you grind like some people will cut in really really harsh and put almost like grooves in the rim um, you might only get maybe half a dozen or ten grinds out of the rim before the sidewalls get a bit thin that way the way that we do it is to go for this sort of finer texture which might not last quite as long but you get a better break in when the grind's fresh and you get many more grinds out of the rim 30, 40, 50 grinds before it's time to replace so um, different ways of doing it but that's that's what we find so yeah one handed grinding with the tyre on so the, the advantage of doing this is that you don't get all the release agent and gunk from the tyre and the tube on the on the rim sidewall which reduces your braking performance so and I guess you can do this mid competition as well if needed yeah even on the bike you know you yeah. put the bike upside down and just with round with the grinder people sometimes take uh, battery powered angle grinders to comps and you just say, what are you grinder? And yeah, no problems, you know, and give it a quick, quick freshen up if it's wet or muddy or what have you. Um, but the key is obviously you need to get the tyre out of the way of the grinding disc because that will come in, that will come in and you're, you know, cutting into your, cutting into your tyre. So you kind of squeeze it out of the way. Much easier with the newer, sort of modern thin sidewall tyres than these more beasty ones. Yeah, so as long as you can get it away enough, so you're not going to touch the tyre with the grinding disc as it comes around should be fine. The only thing is you're working quite close to your, to your spare hand so you need to be a bit careful and we, we can't really be seen to professionally recommend this but it's it's the way I would do it given my sort of experience and, and confidence with using using these sort of tools. If you're young get your dad to do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we're Peter. That was easier than I thought actually, it was alright in the end. Yeah, yeah, happy days.